Hi everyone, my name is Amy and I work here at Connections as a Communicative Disorders Assistant for the Talk To Me program. And in today's video, I'm gonna go over some 18 month speech and language milestones. When parents approach me and ask me questions about their toddler and if I think that they might warrant a speech and language referral to our program, um, we look at different areas. One of the areas that we might ask questions about is your child's receptive language. So how well they're actually understanding and processing the words that we say. So there's different ways that we can kind of, you know, see how that's going. We can ask if they can follow simple directions with basic concepts. The ones we usually start with would be something like in, on, oh, can you put the bear in the box? Um, on, off would be really nice. Um, and one example that I like to go over is if you said, oh, can you take your hat off when they come into the house? That would be something that's actually a little bit familiar, something you might even do anyway without even thinking about it. But what we're looking at is if they can process specific directions that might not be something so familiar. So. Um, oh, can you, you know, take your teddy bear off the couch? Um, putting something in, something on, um, taking something out. See if they can follow directions like that. And also a big one would be is I always ask parents if they're pointing to body parts. If you said, where's your nose? Um, would they actually use your finger and point to their nose and show Oh, I understood what you meant. Here's my nose. Um, so what we're looking for by 18 months is actually several different body parts. If they're able to um, follow that direction, particularly on themselves, um, you can also practice on maybe a little teddy bear or practice on, you know, yourself. Um, they can point to your body parts. Um, so that would be a really great example of trying to kind of get a gauge of the receptive language. Another couple of key questions that I do ask families is if their child is using pretend play. That can be really valuable for their child development and just simple things like will they grab their teddy bear and have a little play cup and give the teddy bear a drink. Um, I know my children, they would often like find a remote control and they would pretend to be talking on the phone and just kind of jibber jabbering into it. So just anything like that, any really nice pretend play is a really great skill to have by 18 months. You can, you know, take their favorite stuffed animal, you can tuck it in, pretend it's sleeping, um, brush its hair, anything like that would be really nice. And um, also I ask parents if they enjoy books with their child. Um, I know some parents kind of panic when I ask that because they expect, you know, they're picturing that their child will listen to a long story. Um, really what we're looking for is that you enjoy books together, you can sit together, and if they'll start actually pointing to pictures in a book, any, um, you know, picture of interest, oh, where's the puppy? And see if they would point to, um, you know, anything in a book. That would be a really great, um, skill to have at this age. Now, the most common question that I generally get is how many words should my child have by the time they're 18 months? And typically we say that they should have at least 20 by the time they're this age. And in terms of the pronunciation of it, we, most children this, this age have a general mastery of the vowel sounds. And what we like to see is that they're using at least four different consonant sounds. You know, that's when you see the mama, the dada, that kind of stuff. Um, we would like to see them playing with a variety of um, kind of vowel consonant combos. What I really like to hear is if the child's really noisy. If um, I hear, oh, you know what? He's just so good. He's so quiet. <laughs> we don't really like to hear that. We like to hear that they are vocalizing and um, that they're kind of playing with sounds and trying to kind of figure it out, if that makes sense. And um, in terms of the words, keep in mind, we do count the words if they're pronounced incorrectly, if that makes sense. Um, I will ask a parent and they'll be devastated. They'll say, oh, my child has, you know, three words or less and what am I gonna do? And they, you know, they're very worried about it. And then we kind of go over it and it, then it kind of comes out, well, he says hat, um, but it, he says ha and he doesn't do the T on the end. And we would absolutely count that um, as a word that if every time he's grabbing that hat <laughs> and he's saying, ha, 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 absolutely. We're, you know, you would interpret that message and um, realize, oh, you know, that's what he's trying to say, hat, that's great. You know, even if it doesn't sound quite 
or sometimes it can sound pretty, pretty off actually, but if they're saying it the same way each time, you can kind of assume that they're trying to pronounce the word and um, you know, it's just not coming out right. They're just, they're working on it. They're trying to figure it out. So just be encouraging and just pronounce the word correctly. And yeah, just, just, I would, you know, count that as a word, even if it wasn't pronounced correctly. I hope you found that helpful and do not forget if you ever have any questions about your child's speech or language, please visit our website at connectwithus.ca and you yourself can do an online referral. There will be a speech and language pathologist that would be happy to meet with you, go over any concerns you might have and um, provide you with any help if you need it. Thanks so much for watching and thanks for connecting with us.